This is the Doctor continuing to pit play through with the Scout. Uh, I just realized that I haven't f really finished clearing out this floor. I'm not gonna bother with this room. There's not much here. Uh, servos. I might actually want to pick that up. I see some more enemies. Oops. All right. Let me explore this little corner first. I might actually want to kill this particular Mugala. Alright. Time to start laying waste to stuff. Now comes the power of the adamantium claws. Look at just how awesome it is. You are basically Wolverine with this weapon. You can carve up almost everything in the game without too much effort. Bio Slug still has its uses. Ugh, don't want to risk using that 33%. That's terrible. But yeah, how am I going to kill the Mugala efficiently? Well... With the Adamantium Claws, of course, and fear. You can see this thing has a ridiculous amount of health, but it's no match for Wolverine. Two apples, that's all I got for my efforts there. Bah. The, so I have like ridiculously good gear at this point. Floor 23, usually I don't get to this point until like floor 30. Um, the only thing that I need really is a better laser weapon. A better energy weapon of some sort. Laser carbine is good, but uh, there's the laser rifle, which is basically just a better version of laser carbine. Ugh. Large probably I don't really want to fight it. Not a problem. What is that? It's a snake? Eh. Oh, what do I want to use to kill it? Sure, heavy assault rifle sounds good. Corrupted Doctor, very dangerous opponent. My breathing. Next. Ah, the snake dog. I don't mind if you want to come over and suffer a horrible, horrible death. I still prefer the AOE them where possible. <laughs> yeah, had the Manium Claws are so ridiculously good, you could use, use them to carve up everything. And it's a pretty easy item to make, as in the components are fairly common. Well, I mean, you know, nanowire and adamantium raisin are probably the hardest two components to get. These things can potentially damage armor, but whatever. It's not like they have enough power to threaten me. Welding goo could use that. More adamantium resin, that's good. Because I would potentially want to make a second one as backup. 
before I do that, of course, let's of course the phase gloves. Um, this thing is exclusive with the adamantium claw and also has very limited durability, so you should only ever equip them when you're going to unlock something. More nano reconstructors. How many? One. One nano reconstructor is still very good. Um, I could also save this in an attempt to make. Well, I don't need to save it. I could do it right now to make the adamantium blade. I need to get my unstable isotopes and just try that. It's something to consider, but with the adamantium claws, I don't really need to make the adamantium blade. I mean, adamantium blade is even more ridiculously good, but. But I don't need that. It's always fun to make it. And I don't mind if I destroyed the lightning blade out. That's kind of ironic, right? Which is that, you know, when I had the lightning blade and no adamantium claws, I did not want to risk destroying the lightning blade. But now that I have the adamantium claws, I don't really care that much about the lightning blade. So, it's, you have to balance your risk versus reward very carefully in this game sometimes. It's not always obvious what the best course of action is when you first start out, but generally, generally in this game, unless you have no choice, you should not roll the dice. You should uh, shy away from risk, which is pretty typical of roguelikes. Don't take unnecessary risks. Oh, I already reprogrammed this. Uh, What's up in that room? Did I already explore that? Oh, I remember. I remember that room. That room has all the annoying enemies. That could be. Nope. Sometimes those are adaptoids. Yeah, I don't really need to repair that. Running a bit low on shotgun shells, but I'm really not worried because this is a very, very common uh, drop at this point in the game. Hmm. I saw these Havoc drones. Don't like those. Might come. Ooh, Mine Trap. That's unfortunate. Probably hurt my Quantum Scan hit? No. Hurt my armor. It's never any good. All right, let me break into this room. Mm. There's no stim tower. This thing just reduces my power, but it doesn't... Well, as long as I just don't step in the room. Stim tower, however, would be very bad, because that makes these creatures immune. Immune is never good. I better take care of the Hyper Commander first. The bears don't leave the room. I would prefer to hack up the Hyper Commander with my Adamantium Claws, but that's alright. Alpha key, don't really need that, but I have some spare inventory space. Mutation serum is good. Uh, maybe I do want to break into that room after all. Is there another lab somewhere on this floor? I mean, there are lab. Uh, this lab down there. I'm pretty sure there's a lab down on floor 24. Labs are so common. I have enough ingredients to just make the items I need to identify them. One of the few times when I actually don't want to succeed at a task. Uh, where is my coding avatar? There we go. I mean, I have enough energy cell. I don't need to do this trick to get more, but... But, you know, it's habit. Oh, this is good. I actually want to lure these enemies out. That's very good. Oh, it's 
far away. Ah! That's a horrible oversight. Perfect. Now I can march into this room unharassed. I think I explore those corners. Alright, down to floor 24. I cleared out pretty much all of this room. There's a lab in that corner that I want to get access to. I could make a science machine pistol, but that's not really efficient use because I already have a weapon that can use pistol ammunition. I want to make something that uses rifle ammunition. Might boost. Obviously an awesome boost might by three. Okay. I'm definitely going to level up, put more, two more points into might. Well, worth it. Shrapno Storm. Alright. It's the ultimate telekinetic ability. Melee is still worth leveling up. Blade is still worth leveling up. Um, Lightning Blade does have AoE effect. I mean, my phase gloves, I don't really need a lot of lockpick. But my attack skills are good. And what else? I might keep leveling up Mechanico to try to get my chance to craft the Lightning Blade to 100, I mean 99%, which I think requires 105 Mechanico skill? I think. Or is it 110? Or It's somewhere around that. On the other hand, I could find a hybrid Multi Tool, which would solve my problem. I'm just gonna level up Resistance a bit more, try to get Invisibility. Alright. Shrapno Storm. Might as well replace Heal. So I'll take, well, let me keep heal there, we'll put cure on here, I'll a, a shrapnel storm right here, put heal here, cure there, perfect. Shrapnel storm is absolutely amazing ability because it has a chance of paralyzing uh, its victim. It also does a tremendous amount of damage to enemies with low armor, and it can even hurt um, enemies with high armor. Uh, so, although, you know, stuff like the heavy security bot is not going to be too bothered by the damage. However, you can still paralyze them, and uh, because the paralysis works on any sort of enemy, uh, because there are later on in the game enemies that are highly resistant to fear and other uh, conventional psionic attack, or I shouldn't say conventional, psionic attacks that affect the mind. They're very resistant to that sort of damage, but the telekinetic tree doesn't check us, uh, you know, mental resistant, it checks physical resistance or strength. So that is why this is awesome. All right, let's destroy floor 20. Five. I fear nothing. Oh, that's not true. What do I fear? What would I fear at this point in the game? It's not much. I fear on consciousness. That's pretty much the only way I would die. So the corrupted doctors are my worst enemies. I've died before with like equipment like this, a heart engineer run, where I got knocked unconscious and promptly destroyed by a Zul female alpha. So, overconfidence is really, really the bane of many a run. I don't need to use Trap No Storm just yet. I'm just gonna carve these things up with the adamantium claws. Once you get them, it's so hard to resist, you know, just using them on anything. I already. Oh, there's a repair station here. Concentrate. Concentrate. More energy cells. All right. Is 
resistance boosters. So hard to just resist using them on everything. Not necessarily the best option, actually. That's not a. That's not a pro. I mean, adaptoid. It actually sometimes may be better to not use animantium claw, especially if you're worried about durability. But I'm not, so I have all those nano reconstructors lying around. Bacon and eggs is one of the best uh, foods to make because it gives plus 35 over the two base ingredients, which is, I mean, short of like the sauce, which is that's one of the bigger boosts, and it requires two very simple ingredients. Stop following me. I may not actually want to make the sauce switch because I can make like stuff like star fondue. I have the Morigi flavor oil. Just, you know, it's kind of a cute item. I don't often get a chance to make it. What I need is safe cheese, which I'll find some rotten cheese and then I can make it. Like, it's it's not really... Uh, I believe it restores a pretty huge amount of health when you use it, but it's not like such an amazing food. I absolutely have to have it. Nevertheless, you know, just for the sake of variety, might as well do that. I don't need to make... Uh, sauce switches are the most efficient food. Uh, I believe they get plus 90. The hero sauce switch, not just the basic sauce switch. The hero sauce switch gives plus 90 over the base food, which is huge. Which is super efficient. Um, but, again, I have plenty of food. I have like 7 ice gems. Nothing to worry about. So I'll come back here. That psycho grenadier. I remember that room. It's the slave pen room. Concentrate. Concentrate. This is probably a med bay and non interrogation bay since this is a medical room. Uh, the cryo lab. And the, uh, what is it? Cryo surgery? Whatever those are called. Oh, Mugala? They don't leave the hallway they spawning. But these guys, on their hand, will come all the way over. You know what? This Mughal is kind of pissing me off. I have it's kind of a waste to be using later weapon on this, but there's there are labs here, right? Well, there's a lab on the previous floor. Uh, you know what? Then again, I better use ballistic weapons to kill it. Here's how you deal with them. You can kite them, but there's an even better way of dealing with them. They only have two moves, and they sort of wander around the hallway they spawning but they won't leave it so you can just do this to kill them it's kind of uh, silly but given how brutally difficult this game is I'm willing to take any edge I can get See, they have such a ridiculous amount of health. I could also fear it, and I mean, like I how I killed it earlier. But all right, I've weakened it enough. Hmm. Deal with this room. I almost wish I had a laser pistol. Ugh. Well, as long as you have the quantum scan helmet equipped, you can't be surprised by those spawning robots. You'll know exactly where they're coming from. Another reason why the quantum scan helmet is so awesome. These scavenger bots don't bother me anymore. Let them come. It's just gonna be carved up by my adamantium claws. S 
still if I can avoid fighting them as well. Come on, where is the robot? Well, I don't know where it is. That enemy, the Dumo, can um potentially which we call uh, it can potentially paralyze you, nasty creature. But like its Stomo cousin, it doesn't move very fast. Yeah, sure, why not? I'll bust into this room. Oh, okay, let me kill the robot first. It's also a cyborg wolf. Come on. It's a cyborg wolf. Alright. Uh, I can't fight it there. I don't want to be in range of the Hyver Commander. Let me put my accelerator boots. Ugh. Those guys are also great candidates to carve up with the adamantium claws. Come on. Well, deal with that thing will wander its way out sooner or later. Feral Zool female. They can do high damage. But they're not super dangerous. Ready. That was clumsy. They're the weakest of the various zoo female types. Nevertheless, you should exercise some caution. They only attack twice per round, most of the other ones attack much more. Eh. I'm not too worried about them since I can kite them with my four move. They have pretty good health, too. But as you can see, not super dangerous. If you know what you're doing. As you can see, those guys can paralyze, but it's not so bad. They can't really do any damage by themselves. Uh, they're dangerous if they can um, co combine their paralyze with more dangerous enemies. There's no stim towering here, so I can fear it. Yeah, I'm just gonna carve it up with my adamantium claws. This is why these claws are so awesome. Painkillers don't need that. And don't need this. Huh. I actually reprogram it. That's alright. Ooh, I should reprogram that recycler. I'm not gonna fight in that room. These robots coming my way. I'm just gonna hide in this corner. How's my armor looking? Cheeto Exo armor is down to 57. It's somewhat alarming. Fortunately, I do have it's just like four um, four nano reconstructors. All right, that room is secure. Ugh. 
Mm. How accurate am I gonna be? Let's find out. Without my items boosted. Huh, pretty good actually. Surprisingly good. And I can kite it if I really wanted to. That's where it hid. <laughs> Sure, why not? I'll eat the... well, let me f finish off the ice gems. The sea cucumbers can reduce um, poison and radiation. Oh, nasty stuff. Okay, let's see. Is that didn't get damaged, but my quantum scan helmet looks like it got damaged. I'll deal with this room in a little bit. Oops. Cyborg Hyper Queen, do I need to finish this room off? Maybe not, but... It's such a good position. That was definitely worth it. Bio mod. Always good. More chosen debris. Now I just need to find a lab. Oh, heavy security about Mark III. Oh boy, those guys have ridiculous amounts of armor and health, and they have mag, a mag rifle, I believe. Nasty stuff. <gasps> Structural rods. Perfect. I can take this. This and I believe two welding goos. Um, let me just check. I only have one. Recipes. The silenced auto rifle. Two welding goos. I might have some more in my bank. I'm gonna have to go check, but I can finally use rifle ammunition now. Potentially. I don't like that sound. That sound is like a toxoid or a protean. Let me just scout around to make... Uh, okay, there's a protean there. Concentrate. Concentrate. Alright. Now I'll deal with the... I guess wrap no storm it, but I prefer fear. It lasts longer. Shrapnel storm duration, uh, paralyzed duration. If you par oh, I forgot to equip my phase gloves. Moving too quickly. What was I saying? The shrapnel storm uh, duration is good. Oh man, pocket tesseract. This is an upgraded version of the uh, utility belt. Instead of a measly six squares, this thing grants a whopping twenty-four squares, I believe. Uh, let me see. Pocket tester gap. Yeah, plus 4 inventory size means plus, um, plus 24. So effectively it's plus 22. Utility belt is nice, but the pocket tester rack is amazing. Now I have, I mean, I'm not going to have to worry about inventory space for a while. I just have so much space here. <laughs> I mean, ah, uh, this run is like, the luck is almost a little too good, I feel. But... Oh, is it really a question of luck? I think that once you get your forging up to 80, from what I could observe by playing this game, like, it, there's never any guarantee of finding truly amazing <laughs> items, but more often than not, I do seem to be able to find good stuff. So, I mean, there's definitely an element of luck, but it may not be as... Um, 
at least on normal difficulty, I don't think it matters that much. On some of the higher difficulty, I could definitely, you know, sometimes certain bad rolls will screw you pretty horribly. But on normal, I don't need all these items to succeed. If that makes any sense. Like, I could probably toss away maybe up to half the items and still be sort of okay. I would have to, you know, use every ounce of my cunning to pass the game at that point. But again, again, if you if you find the if you use your items correctly, that matters more than you know lucky drops, in my opinion. 99% chance to use the copier, that's amazing. What should I copy? Nano Reconstructor normally is like obviously the best choice. The thing is, my lockpicks are down to a mere two charges, and I could still potentially find really good weapons. I'm gonna copy another lockpick. Um, because you know, I have four nano reconstructors, that's plenty. So let me do that. And of course it starts out with full five charges, so getting some more lockpicks. I mean, even with the phase gloves, having lockpicks to get into the really hard weapons chest can be a good idea. Otherwise, nano reconstructors are again a good choice. Or actually, the other thing I should have done, that's what I should have done first, is identify this item. If it's a good one, I just make a second copy of it. Eh, that's a shame. I Sometimes you have to just be a bit more patient when playing this game and consider all your options. Regenerator. Eh, that's one of the better ones. It's not the most awesome one, but... The question is, do I put it into the Hyver armor or the Cheetah Exo armor? Better put it into the Cheetah Exo armor, since I use that armor more. Alright. Let me go back and carve up some more enemies. The heavy security bot room. I also want to find a Tesseract well so I can finally make that rifle. Or I could just backtrack to get a Tesseract well. Eh, I'm reasonably confident I'll find another Tesseract well sooner or later. Hmm. Let's scout out the rooms. Okay. I've spent too much Oops. energy. Again, some of what I've done is luck. Like, making the adamantium claws is not really luck. I mean, it is ultimately luck-based, but the ingredients are common enough that it's not hard to make them in a run. Other stuff like the phase glove is definitely luck, since most runs I never find them. Um, Kaiten play armor, again, isn't really too much luck. The ingredients are fairly common. Uh, generally, I am able to find some sort of shotgun weapon, although two auto shotguns is pretty ridiculous. Uh, accelerator boots are also very good luck there. Uh, Cheetah Exo armor is very good luck, especially since it's the Scout, which is the best class to use that. But, you know, stuff like the Quantum Scan helmets, not really that luck based. The ingredients are common enough. Hyver Warrior, don't really want to mess with that just yet. These might not actually be med bays. Ah, uh, oh, that one is. Okay, no Tesseract well on this level. I'm just gonna go down one more level and attempt to find one. Maybe this will lure the heavy security bot all the room. That would be the best possible outcome. Come on! Damn, it's not coming. Oh, wait, it is coming! Perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Yeah, I don't need that either. I'm just gonna carve it up with my adamantium claws. These guys can hurt, but with full health, not gonna be too bothered. They also have uh, 
much higher health than their lower tier equivalents. But as long as you have animantium claws, nothing is really much of a challenge for you. I mean, I shouldn't say that. There are still enemies that are plenty challenging, but but I know how to handle the security bots now. Fear. There's nothing in this room. I'm just gonna carve you up for experience. Running almost dangerously low on shotgun shells. But that's alright. I, I mean, shotgun shells are so common late game that I really am not too worried. Is this an interrogation bay? No. Alright. Oh, I should uh, unlock this one and try to get some more injury cells from here. Nope, I succeed! Again! Alright, so thank you for watching. Until next time.